Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another From the Depths of Sinking Ship video, and this is Sinking the RMS Olympic. Um, this is something that's been requested many times, I can't really understand why, because it's basically the Titanic, but people want the Olympic to be sunk, so here it is. And um, I have taken the trouble to actually make it the Olympic, I mean it's got the open promenade and the extra lifeboats and a few other bits as well. Um, so yeah, it is properly the Olympic, um, so yeah the uh, whole purpose of today so this is going to be sinking of the Olympic and um, today I'm using a different ship it's not the Matty Groves the Matty Groves has been replaced and uh, this is a much fatter version of the Matty Groves although it's no longer called the Matty Groves it's now called the Emma Jane HMS Emma Jane I just thought I'd give it a, a nicer name even though it's a bundle of death so I'm um, completely redesigned hull much fatter much wider and uh, more well, more resilient against um, bastards with uh, <laughs> firing machines. Anyway, that's uh, Emma Jane out of the way. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do, do the usual routine, grab hold of a gun. I'm not going to be using the full, arm uh, uh, full armament of Emma Jane's uh, capabilities, I'm just going to be using the forward turret because, um, well, f 12, 16 shots is a little bit overkill, so uh, there we go. But we're going to start by firing, just sort of think, where can we fire? We're going to fire roughly under the bridge and uh, We'll go from there, but uh, the ship is actually the same model I used for the Britannic. The, um, the original Titanic model I used was um, flawed in every respect, so I thought I'd better not use it anymore. So we've put, we put a hole in her side, we've actually blown a hole right through the compartments, but the compartment is not flooded, so we're going to have to have another go. Let's see how we do that. And did that crack it? I think we've yep we put a hole in her so there she's damaged and she's starting to list slightly a little bit of a list so let's go slightly forward at that point now and lots of bits falling off uh, so how far forward are we going not very far so we'll go to about there I don't want the shells to bounce really I'm trying to get the shells to go clean into the side and blow up like when there we go now she's got a bit more of a list Yep, definitely a little bit uh, on the precarious side. So I'm just trying to do this as cleanly as possible. See, just a small puncture there. See, this isn't overkill. This is not as bad as uh, using the Mamba or the full armament of what Emma Jane has. So the sinking is much. Well, I'll say the sinking is not much cleaner, but the damage is a little bit, uh, a little bit less uh, over the top. So we put another hole in the side there. The Limbic is now keeling. Ever so slightly more to the side now. And yet she's a little bit uh, worse for wear, so just look at the angle. She's about, I'm not really sure what the angle is, say about 15 degrees, 10 degrees. She's moving away anyway, that's one thing. Emma Jane is not moving away, which is pretty good. Alright, so we're going to move slightly forward. I don't think that compartment punctured actually. Oh, it, it is flooded, yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we're going to move forward next compartment along, so I'm just going to try and bring the bow down. And yeah, that's done the damage to the bow, isn't it? Yeah, that's the bow going down. Slightly. Um, yeah, that's the bow, that's the four peak completely flooded. One, two, three, four. Four compartments flooded, so we're going to move a bit further along, we're going to about midships. And see what we can do there. So we're going to aim about just under funnel number two and see if we can tip her over. I don't want to make it all too Titanic esque. I'm going to try and tip her over a bit. <laughs> and down she goes a bit more. Is she leaning over? Oh, she's near keeling forward. See how the focus under. was a bit uh, OTT that one so we're gone she's still at an angle look so she's not level but she's uh, more stable than I would like I was trying to tip her over but uh, oh, to no avail so we're going to do we're going to go a bit so this compartment's ruptured that compartment's ruptured so that shell I fired has actually blown open more compartments than I expected it's blown two open row I really only wanted one but never mind 
What's the damage up here? This is flooded. The forecastle's not flooded there. That's got an air pump in it, so that's not flooded. And the area behind the well deck's not flooded either. So we're going to fire at the four peak just to flood that section. I don't really want to use all four shells, but there we go. And a big blast there. A bit more lag than usual. Let's find it. Yep, there's this four peak going under. So now the folks all completely under. The well deck's completely under. Not a huge dive, but uh, enough to cause a problem. And there we go. So if I was to fire in this area here, roughly about there, that would flood that section and send that down, wouldn't it? So don't really want to fire at that though, because it's clean. But uh, so that compartment's flooded. The one next to it is. Fl How's this one flooded? I don't understand. This compartment's flooded, but there's no damage. Oh, yes, there is. There's a hole there. Oh, well. Next one. And yeah, well, that's flooded, isn't it? So that's knackered that. Yep. So we'll go to the next one. And we'll aim about there. And see what the shell damage is like. Right under the. Or near enough the third funnel. And yet the bow goes down a bit more. And pieces are starting to break up as well. And the bridge is going under. But at least she's a little more, more, more level. So ideally, I need to flood this section now. And I this is. Well, this is flooded now. Oh, it's bound to be flooded. The doors are all open. But this, this section isn't. So really, I need to aim about there. So I aim, put a hole in the side there, and that will flood that section and bring it down. <laughs> and yep, that's done it. Down she goes. That forward funnel is now in the water. And what we've got further back, well, the propellers are now clean out. Yep, the propellers are right out of the water. Yeah, not looking too rosy, is she? And list it's still got the list, look. She's still not as big a list, so about five degrees. But enough to cause problems nonetheless. <laughs> what I'm going to do now. What else is there to flood? I don't think there is, there is anything else. So that's. We knew that one's open. That's open now because of that. And this is open anyway because all the door, doors are open. Same with the one above. Same with the funnel area as well. So that's behind the bridge. Might as well try and knock the funnels off now, I suppose. Did I aim right? Oh, there we go. Lag attack. <laughs> well, it moved it anyway. Um. Whoa, Jesus! Funnel's going over already. Well, it would. It sort of stuck where it is. So, um. <laughs> it's just bits breaking off. So that's funnel number one. Right, watch the next compartment. Where's the next one? Let's aim about here. Got to bring the ship down. Another blast inside there. The ship is settled. And yep, she's tipping forward again. Where's that funnel gone? Oh, it's stuck. So she's not clean out the water, she's still rising up gradually. Oh dear. Uh, there isn't 
much else I can do. I mean, there's not much light alloy holding it together. Alright. Next one along now. Sort of bring her down a bit more. Aim about there. I thought you broke in half then, in the way the uh, stern just dropped then. Let's have a go at the other funnel, let's try and get rid of that one as well. That's funnel number two falling over. The ship is. I think the stern is just stern rising. Yeah, she's starting down now. Look at the propellers there. Gradually moving. Quite fast. And tipping up. But she's not. So she's not rising high out the water like normally, but uh, not a big issue. Uh. Funnel number three is flooded. Let's get rid of the last funnel. Sort of aim about there. Lag. <laughs> it fell back and then it fell forward and now it's stuck again. And a pile of pieces. But gradually the ship is going under. How far away from the seabed is she? So she's quite away still, quite away from the seabed, so she's probably go right under. That bloody funnel alert just blew the front of it off. Alright, let's have another go. Let's get aim about there. Gotta to topple it. The other one's gone under almost. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Got rid of it. it. Makes the ship a bit lighter anyway. <laughs> Alright. Is the ship still going up? Uh, yeah, she's still moving. You can see the stern is getting far, further and further out of the water. But there is a... <laughs> There isn't much. Where's that funnel gone? Half of it's gone, yeah, half of it's still attached. Most of it's fallen in. The other two funnels are sort of. drunk. But this isn't uh, overkill like usual. Sort of keeping the ammunition shots down to a minimum. I mean, not even the mast is still attached. That's a bonus, isn't it? Usually there's nothing left. Anyway, we're very near the end of this. We're going to aim a bit. Further, from well, sort of aim about here now. I think. See so if we can get a shell there. Emma Jane is miles away now. I get blow that compartment open. A lag attack again. Stern settles. And really, the stern should rise again because of the uh, the amount of ship that is. Oh, blimey, so the amount of ship that is underwater now. The the air bubble should just keep the uh, stern afloat. Did have a bit of an error with this when I converted it from Minecraft. A good chunk of the stern fell off, so I <laughs> had to repaint it a bit. Well, not repaint it, but repair it. That is pretty much it for Our Lady Olympic. And there's still... So that compartment was just blown open. That one's flooded now. So there's still one, two... That's it, just two compartments left now. And gradually she's going under and just see the water rising. I think one more shell will do just to make sure.
<coughs> Down the stern goes. On an even keel. And still one compartment to uh, unflooded as well. If I just fly in there, you can see, still dry as a bone. But uh, not a big issue. So down goes Olympic, that's it. Didn't take very long this time, usually when this ship, a ship this size it takes all day to sink. Uh, she's going to have a, a slow jaunt towards the seabed, although <laughs> the stern's not going down anymore. I think that air bubble is uh, holding her up. But now she's going down and she's travelling forward. So I just sit and wait. And eventually she will pass under. I'm gonna have to fire that one more shell, aren't I? Just wanna get her to go under. Taking all day. I think one of those shells hit, yep, that's it. There we go. Olympic has gone under. Just wait for the mast to go under. There's no flag, I didn't put the pendant on. Oh well, never mind. Usually the flag is uh, synonymous with the ship, but never mind. And there we go, that's Olympic. Gone, but not forgotten. And she's just down there. But uh, she's in better shape. I mean, look at the superstructure. She's almost completely intact. But uh, not too bad, and uh, she's still got quite a way before she gets to the seabed. But she is moving, looks like she's moving forward rather than down. She's sort of plane, planing off. But that is pretty much all we have. Funnels are completely gone. Oh, I set for funnel number three, I didn't bother shooting at that one. But the other three are in suspended animation. I don't think there's really much point in doing the wreck uh, video because the ship is intact and there's no pieces I don't think are going to break off. She's not in a, a bad state. So she's just going to go down and settle on the seabed and that'll be it. Damaged propeller, look. There's a piece there that's going to break off, that'll be it. But, uh, yeah, overall, and there it goes, there's that piece just falling off. There we go. If she does get to the end within the next half an hour, I'll probably redo her another video, but just, it's, it's a long way to go still. But I think I'll leave it. But we'll see. Anyway, um, I'll leave it at that. I may come back and do the yeah, rec video actually, but I'm going to pop over to uh, Emma Jane again. Now, Emma Jane is a work in progress still. She's... Uh, an evolution from the Matty Groves. Matty Groves was a good ship, but flawed because of my ignorance and uh, all things like that, not taking into account the uh, enemy, and uh, she uh, suffered quite badly. But Emma Jane is the same sort of thing, but much wider, with a lot more compartments inside. I haven't redesigned the superstructure yet. I managed to redesign the bow right the way to the stern, but the superstructure remained the same. There needs to be more guns on the side, so I haven't put any um, smaller guns or anti-aircraft or anything like that on board. Um, she's still a work in progress. But I thought I'd change the name, give her a, a bit of a sweet name rather than a. Uh, well, Matty Groves isn't really a name, or well, not really a, a name of a ship or anything. But uh, yeah, Emma Jane I thought was a bit more, uh, a bit more neat. There'll also be a sister ship as well. She'll be called the Debbie J, and she'll be uh, a bit more armoured. Uh, well, not more armoured, but more uh, ammunition, sort of more anti-aircraft torpedoes and things like that. That'll be for that. I've also got another sinking ship video to do, hopefully by the end of this week. That is for um, the Confident Gamer. He's asked me to sink his uh, his basic cruise ship. Um, don't worry, mate, I haven't forgotten you. So I shall be doing that, hopefully by the end of this week. If not, it'll be early next week. So that'll be sinking uh, a basic cruise ship. This is a little ship he put together, and he wants me to destroy it. It might have to be a double video, that one, or a double sinking in that video. 
uh, probably have to sink it a couple of times. It's not very big, but uh, still, it's a ship that needs to be sunk. So uh, that'll be for a few days' time. But uh, we'll have one more look at Emma Jane in all her glory. And uh, yeah, that's that. I, took, I didn't put a bulbous bow on, did I? No, there's no bulbous bow on this one. But, uh, hey, hey, never mind. Um, uh, it is, the bow is sort of evolved from um, Battleship cha uh, Battleship Builder Channel. I can't remember his name. But uh, he knows who he is. And uh, the bow is sort of... It's not the same anymore, but it has evolved, if you know what I mean. It's still got the uh, sort of the, the, the slopes at the top. So that's really all that's left, I think. But uh, I thought I'd give him a mention anyway. So where's Olympic? Olympic is now over here. And she is now stern down. Her stern is outweighed the bow. Oh well, I think that'll do. She's pretty much a wreck now anyway. She, she's still got... She's still very nearly at the seabed, but I don't think I'll bother waiting anymore. But that's the wreck, if you like, of the Olympic. And that's pretty much it. So... That's it uh, for me. That's so. Uh, um, yeah, this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. And uh, goodbye from Emma Jane as well. And uh, I shall return with another video soon. So, uh, bye for now.